Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lenny. I'm a teacher of chemistry. Our topic today is calculation of empirical formula and molecular formula. Here we have a problem that we have to solve by calculating this empirical formula and the molecular formula. Our question, hydrogen contains 82.8 percentage by mass of carbon and 17.2 percent of hydrogen. We have to calculate the empirical formula of the hydrocarbon. So question D, if the relative molecular mass of the hydrocarbon is 58, calculate in C molecular formula. Remember, here we have relative atomic masses of carbon, which is 12, and the hydrogen, which is 1. Let's go by finding this empirical formula. Remember, we have to draw a table. The first column, there is element. And then, we want to learn the element that we have. Remember, we have element carbon. We have another element which is hydrogen. We have percentage composition. Percentage composition. This is the data that we have. Remember, carbon has 82.8. Hydrogen has 17.2. After writing this percentage of composition, we have to show atomic mass. The atomic mass of carbon is 12. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. This is information that we have in our question. And then, the first thing that we have to calculate is to calculate the number of mole of each atom. Number of mole. To get the number of mole, we take the given percentage, we divide the atomic mass. To make here we take 82.8 divided by 12. The answer here is 6.9. Remember to put in your calculator in order to get this answer. For this atom, hydrogen, 17.2 over 1, the answer is 17.2. Here we get the number of moles. After getting the number of moles, we have to divide. You have to analyze the smallest value that you have. 6.9 and 17.2. The smallest number is 6.9. That's why we have to divide the all answers by the smallest value. Divide by smallest value of smallest number. Here to me, we take 6.9 to divide by 6.9. The answer is 1. For here, we take 17.2 over this 6.9. The answer is 2.49. These answers by dividing the smallest value. We want to round these numbers. If you have the decimal numbers, you have to round. Here we have 2.49. Remember, this number, this digit 9, is greater than 5. That's why you have to round it off. And then this will become 5, where here we get 2.5. If you have decimal numbers, in order to remove this 
decimal numbers we have to multiply by 2 on the all answers here that we get. That's why you put here bracket by multiplying 2. 2 times 1, here we get 2. 2 times 2.5, the answer is 5. The last row contains the ratios, the answer that you get. Our ratio is this final number. To me, the ratio of carbon is 2, the ratio of hydrogen is 5. This is A. To me, empirical formula of Empirical formula of this hydrocarbon, we write the atom with its ratio. To me, we have carbon with two, and then hydrogen with five. This is how we calculate the empirical formula for percentages. And then we have sub question B to calculate the molecular formula. Molecular formula. Molecular formula equal to empirical formula equal to empirical formula times n that means the number of mole. And then to get that number of mole means when you take empirical formula empirical formula times the number of mole. This will be equal to molecular mass. Relative molecular mass. What we have to do is to replace. We have empirical formula. Our empirical formula is C2H5. C2H5. And then multiply by A, which is unknown. This will be equal to molecular mass. In our previous the molecular mass is 58. And then, we are going to find the relative atomic mass of this empirical formula. Remember, atomic mass of the carbon is 12. I take the 12 by multiplying the 2 bracket. I add the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, I multiply by this 5. And then times a, this equal to 58. 12 times 2 equal 24. 1 times 5 equal to 5. Remember, we have to multiply by this a, which is unknown. This equal to 58. 24 plus 5 equal to 29. A, this equal to 58. The value of a equal. So this 58, we divide by 29. The answer of this, we have to simplify, get here 1, then our answer is 2. The value of A is 2. Remember, we have to show the molecular formula that we get. Molecular formula will be equal to empirical formula times the value of A. Remember, empirical formula is C2H5, and then multiply by A, which is 2. The answer will be 2 times 2 equal to 4, we get C4. 2 times 5, we get hydrogen 10. This is our molecular formula. Remember, this is the formula of betaine. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Remember to make a comment. Remember to give a like and share to your friends. We will meet next time. Bye, guys.